like a hell cut. Before solving this question, you should know the basics of FIR filters, which I have already given in my previous videos. All right. So the first question we have is h of e raised to j omega is given. Then we have cutoff frequency. All right. Then we have window, rectangular window. Range is given zero to four, and we have to find h of n, and this is FIR. All right. Finite impulse response. Why? Because n is given. Okay. Now how to solve this? To solve this, you should know first point that is h of e raised to j omega in the form. All right. So h of e raised to j omega is in the form e raised to minus j two. Uh, sorry, let's say e raised to minus j alpha omega, and cut off is minus omega c and omega c. All right. So you can see the question is exactly in that form. Okay, let's solve this first by trick. If this is the case, then the answer for h of n. So now this h of n is infinite impulse response. Better you know that this is infinite impulse response, and we want this as finite impulse response. Okay, so infinite impulse response. So the answer for this is one by pi n minus alpha into sine of n minus alpha into omega c so you can see that the answer that should be for this question is 1 by pi n minus 2 sin of n minus 2 and pi by 4 this should be the positive value all right this is minus pi by 4 pi by 4 take the positive value because omega c is always the positive value so pi by 4 so this should be the answer so the first trick was this now let let us solve and check whether the answer is this or not okay the first step is to find h of n using idft so the idft was 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to pi h of e raised to j omega e raised to j omega n d omega all right now minus pi to pi from this this function is valid only between minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 it is zero otherwise Okay, so first let's change the limit minus pi by four to pi by four. Now the function is valid in this range. Okay, so the function is e raised to minus j two omega. So e raised to j omega d omega. Now we have to solve this integration. Okay, so let's first club the powers e raised to minus j omega. This is common and two plus n d omega. All right, we can change this. Uh, we are making some mistake here. Two uh, minus n. All right, so one by two pi. Let's simplify that. Pi by four. E raised to, let's say, j omega n minus two d omega. I hope this is clear to you till now. Now the next step that you should know is how to solve this integration. So e raised to j omega n minus two and the coefficients down there. All right, and what are the limits? Pi by four to minus pi by four. Okay, now we have to plug in these values. So what will happen is, all right, let's say I will write here one by two pi j n minus two will remain as it is, but e raised to j pi by four n minus two minus e raised to e raised to minus j pi by 4 n minus 2 now this is the case all right now here comes the trigo part if you take 2 and j and you place here 2 and j what will happen what will happen and you can take n minus 2 as well so you can see that e raised to j theta minus e raised to minus j theta upon 2j all right so this is the formula and you can see that the formula is e raised to j theta minus e raised to minus j theta upon 2j you can match this and this 
and this is equal to according to the trigger this is equal to sine of theta so what we will so what will be the answer 1 by pi so n minus 2 was unused so n minus 2 will come here back and sine of theta now the theta value is this pi by 4 all right and n minus 2 now you can see that the trick we applied all right the trick was 1 by pi n minus alpha alpha was 2 so yes n minus 2 sine of omega c omega c was pi by 4 so pi by 4 into n minus alpha again alpha is 2 so this is the answer and this is equal to h of n so our trick word fine this is h of n and this is iir let's convert this iir into fir so the second step is window the rectangular window and the range was between 0 to 4 all right so our table says between solving this uh, window what we have to do is multiply them so h of n is equal to sorry h dash of n our final answer all right is h of n that we have found in the first step into the window and that is the rectangular window so what will happen we have the signal all right this is the signal in right side in left side we are applying the window that's why we use multiply sign all right we are applying the window and we are taking this window so this is finite impulse response so i hope this is clear all right let's draw the table uh, the range of n is 0 1 2 3 4 okay and let's take up 0 and 2 4 now h of n is this and this was equal to that 1 by pi n minus 2 sine of n minus 2 into pi by 4 from this we have to calculate all right then we have the window and this is always equal to 1 all right because this is a rectangular window and it is valid from 0 to n minus 1 that is 0 to 4 and it is always equal to 1 in that range otherwise it is 0 and this is our the final answer now put the value of 0 so n is equal to 0 then we have to solve it and we will get the value so the value comes out to be we have to find that value but here what will happen let's say n is equal to 2 so 2 minus 2 is 0 and 1 by 0 means infinity so we have to solve this value differently others you can get by put uh, by putting the values in the calci and you can get the value so the answer that will be is 0 0.16 0 0.225 this is still unknown i will uh, show you how to find that okay and this is 2.5 and this is 0 0.16 so interesting part is this and this value will always be same so you have to calculate up till this because this and this value will always be same so this is the second trick you can mark that find up to 0 1 and this is the differentiating part you can see because after 2 up we have two values down we have two values so the first and last is same second and second last is same okay now let's see how to find this 2 so h of n is equal to 1 by pi n minus 2 sine of n minus 2 pi by 4 when n is not equal to 2 why because when n is equal to 2 when we get 1 by 0 that is equal to infinity so for solving that we we simply what we do we have to solve this so basically we need h of 2 h of 2 means replacing n by 2 okay so in idft 1 by uh, 2 pi integral minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 okay h of e raised to j omega is e raised to 2 omega now comes the important part e raised to j omega n e raised to j omega n but n is 2 so e raised to j omega into 2 d omega after solving this we will get answer and the answer is 0.25 now what if i say you can find this answer orally now that's the trick again so the third trick hashtag 3 third trick is for solving this type the answer is equivalent to cutoff by pi so what is the cutoff pi by 4 so pi by 4 by pi so what is the answer 1 by 4 1 by 4 is nothing but 0.25 all right so this is the basic trick and the trick number three is this the trick number two was that the symmetric part 
and the let's say write, write it here trick 2 was symmetric part first and last is same first last second second last and so on and the trick 1 was the main h of n when n is not equal to 4 sorry n is not equal to 2 and here n is not uh, n is equal to 2 so i hope this is clear to you so friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel so milte hain agli video mein till then take care this is shrinik jain peace out